recording there. Bark. Whoa, why? Whoa. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. And, uh, Mo Yang did something interesting today. They released a new snapshot. Snapshot 16W50A. Uh, and they are saying that it is still a 1.11 snapshot. So, they may be getting ready to do a 1.11.1 fairly soon, which is kind of cool. And uh, the reason I'm recording is because they did something very interesting. Uh, there were a number of changes. One was uh, that they said Infinity and Mending were no longer compatible on bows. Um, you can do it. Obviously, I didn't, uh, didn't uh, enchant it that way. I have a table, but I did check and Oh, that was weird. Oh, uh, I, I did check, and unfortunately, oops, you can still, oh, sorry, dude, you can still shoot your dog in the boat. Uh, the reason I even bring this up, hey, dude, oh, no, 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 get out, get out. Let's feed you and not get in the boat. There we go. Um, the reason I bring that up is because one of the changes they made was, uh, I think, related. <laughs> um, so the whole, uh, the reason you can shoot your dog when you're in, when he's in your boat, is because the arrow. If we go back into F5, when I shoot an arrow, the arrow starts behind you, and you can see the little particle there. Um, and so if I were in survival, I could shoot myself with it, right? Um, and especially when I'm flying. Oh, wait. It let me pick up those arrows, even though they were shot from an infinity bow. Oh, that's weird. I wonder if that's kind of what they mean. I don't know. That's weird. Anyway. So, since the arrow starts from behind you, that's why when people f are flying around with their Elytra, they can uh, shoot themselves with their punch bow and uh, get a little bo boost. Let's see if I can do it. Of course, you should be wearing some armor <laughs> when you do that. But anyway, so, um, <laughs> oh, that was funny. So, pop. Um, so, let me put some armor on. Give me a second. Okay, so now I'm wearing some armor. Um, go back into. Oh, hit the right keys. There we go. Hi. So, I think they're getting ready to remove the whole punch bow thing from the game, which will also fix the shooting your dog thing in a boat. And the reason why I think that's going to be the case is because of what they added uh, instead. <laughs> let me get a crafting table. Do, do, do. And let me pop this down and let's do some crafting. So what they did was, I think, kind of cool. Um, so they added firework rockets yeah okay so let me fly up in the air and switch into into a survival mode here and game mode survival fly oh wow so you can use the rockets to give you some altitude. And uh, there are different... Oh, look at that. 150. 200. Nice. 
Okay, we're flying over there. So this I think is a great solution to the whole punch bow thing to give people the ability to fly farther in some way, give themselves a boost mid-air, and it does put it does take durability on the Electra. Uh, but without do with so that they can remove the punch bow. Now it's just a guess on my part. Um, I could be completely wrong, but it seems like we, uh, we they could be getting ready to remove uh, some of the stuff. So let me try something else um, in the in the crafting table here. So and the the fireworks rockets are cheap, right? They're like a piece of paper and one, two, or three gunpowder. And so let me see if this makes a difference. So the number of gunpowder determines the duration for how long it flies. Okay, let's go up to 100, roughly. And then let's go um, game mode survival, fly. Oh, that's awesome. So, okay, I have to do some, some testing on that. But it seems to give you a little bit of a speed boost while you're in the air. That's so cool. And so if you can use it, flying straight up, you get as much altitude as you want, and then fly over to the to the angle that you want to get back. Oh, I don't want to get lost. I am I'm a little lost, aren't I? <laughs> okay, that's fine. This is a great this is a great thing. Um I'm super lost. We're flying towards. Okay, I'm I'm positive X. Positive X, negative Z. And so you do this without damaging to yourself. Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, wow. Ow. <laughs> okay, so I have to I have to get used to that a little bit, but that's a really cool. Oh, you have to be flying in order to start it because normally the fireworks you have to put it on the ground for it to shoot up. Cool, so the, the trick will be, let's figure out, and I will set up a test for this and probably record it, but figure out if the uh, the duration of the rocket determines the amount of speed boost that you get. I imagine it might. So the question is, do you want these flight duration three or do you want flight duration one, which is cheaper to make? Uh, but they're all pretty inexpensive, especially if you've got some sort of mob farm, like I do. Uh, so. Oh, I just ate the only steak. Oh no, sorry buddy, I ate your food. Okay, so anyway, that was that was what I wanted to show. This is super cool and it makes the, I was always bugged a little bit by the, uh, the punch bow thing. It just always seemed like taking advantage of a bug. And that was, uh, I didn't like that. So that was, uh, I'm glad that they've provided an alternative and that they realize that people uh, want to be able to, you know, fly and, and give themselves a boost and fly farther than just however tall you have a, you know, mountain you can jump off of in the game. So hopefully this, this new version comes out um, relatively soon and hopefully that's... Uh, you know, so we can get that onto the server and actually start using it. Now they changed some things about the combat mechanics. I have not played with that at all yet. So I'm going to have to go into a spawn some mobs and go play with the combat mechanics in uh, survival. Uh, just to see what the, those changes are because they were a little bit cryptic about it, but that, uh, that should be it. So there we go. Thank you for watching, and uh, I look forward to this new new update very much. All right, talk to you later. Bye.